Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. Today I'm gonna to be doing a super requested video, which is my room tour. So if you're also subscribed to my vlogging channel, which will be linked down below, you will have already seen my bedroom because I show on pretty much every single vlog. But if you're only subscribed to this channel, then this is pretty much all of my room that you get to see. So I thought I would do an in-depth room tour and show you everything that's in my room. I am rubbish at remembering where things are from so if I haven't mentioned where something is from I will try and leave it in the description box if not just leave me a comment and I will try and find out where that item is from but without further ado let's just get into the video come in my room this is the door and then to the right I have my desk area so on here I just have my iMac which I do all of my editing on and I just have the keyboard and the mouse as well and then I have a little mouse pad which is from Kath Kidson which is so cute next to my iMac I have a little desk calendar which is from Debenhams and then on the other side of that I have a little photo frame with a photo of me and my dog in it and that is from Next. And then I also have a little candle which I think was from Homebase. So the actual desk is from Tesco and I really love this. It has two drawers and then it also has the two shelves as well. So it's got plenty of storage. So inside my desk drawers, I keep things like chargers, some makeup. I've got notebooks, pens, just pretty much anything. I just shove in there so it looks um, tidy from the outside. And hanging on one of those drawers, I have a little plaque that says always look on the bright side of life. And then on the shelves, I just keep things like box sets, DVDs, books, CDs, um, that sort of like entertainment things. And then coming up from above my desk, I have a little shelf and on there I have a vase with a fake flower in it. I've got a little penguin ornament that I got from Edinburgh Zoo. And then beside that is a little lilac candle holder, which I think was from Danelm. And then next to that, I have a plaque that says Dream Big and it's got floral print on it, it's so cute. And then in front of that, I have another little ornament from Edinburgh Zoo, which is a little turtle. Next to that, I have a glass jar of sand, which I actually got from Morocco. And I went to the Sahara Desert, so inside I put some sand from the Sahara Desert. And then lastly on that shelf, I have a giant candle, which is vanilla and coconut scented, and it is amazing. And it is from Home Base. And above the shelf, I have this cute, like, collage frame, which I got from Debenhams. And inside, I've put all photos from when I was traveling and when I volunteered abroad with children. And I just love this photo frame. It is so cute. And I just feel so emotional every time I look at it because it has so many good memories. And then hanging all the way down to my desk, I have these gorgeous lilac, white and pink lights. And they're like these sort of wool balls and they just look so cute when they're lit up. I love these. These are from Amazon. Now moving slightly over from my desk, beside it I have this little like footstool which I kind of just use for decoration because I think it looks really cute. I got this from B&M and then behind that I have a white frame with a poster inside which is a friends poster because I am obsessed with friends. Both the poster and the frame are from HMV. Then going up my bed I have these like fairy light -like twigs that I got from home base which are very cute and then above that I have a canvas which is a New York City one and it's lilac so it ties in really nicely with my room and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous and I got this from Next. The next section of my room is mine and my sister's bunk bed so I actually share a room with my sister if you didn't know. The question that I get asked so much is 
do you dislike sharing a room with your sister and I absolutely love it because me and my sister get on really well and we're basically like best friends as well as sisters. We decided to go with bunk beds just um, to save a bit of space so that we could have room for our desks and other things that we wanted. I can't remember where these bunk beds are from but I will link it down below if I can remember. So I sleep in the top bunk and above that I have a little frame from Next which says loving in. It's got paper hearts and it looks so cute and again it's lilac because I'm obsessed with lilac and my bedding again is quite purpley quite lilac and um, very very cute I love it I've got lots of cushions on there and some teddies as well my bedding is from Danelm and I absolutely love this it reminds me of patchwork even though it's not but I just think it's so cute and I remember this being very affordable so definitely look in Danelm if you're looking to buy some new bedding so my stitch teddy is from the Disney store and then I have two cushions next to that the big one which says life is a journey is from Next and the smaller one which has my initial on it is from M&S. Along from that I have a cute little tatty teddy which I got from my mum. I think she got this from Tesco and it says love you to the moon and back on it. And then I have two cushions at the top of my bed. The back one is just a plain purple one which is from Denam and then the front one is this white and lilac one which has a love heart and some cute little like leafy and flowery design and a little bit of fringing as well and that is from Next. I also have a blanket at the bottom of my bed which is matching and it's from Denel and it's got like fringing sort of tassel-y things at the bottom as well which is super cute and that is my bed. Moving on to my sister's bed which is the bottom bunk. She has this plain like sort of ivory bedding on which has a little bit of flowering detail on it as well and I think this was either from Danelm or Tesco. I'm gonna go with Danelm, I'm pretty sure it's from Danelm. And she has a cushion which is also from Danelm which says joy, peace and love. And then her other two cushions, she has a white kind of fluffy one which is from Tesco and then this green and gold one which says life is beautiful is from Debenhams. And then at the bottom she has a lovely blanket from Matalan which is like pink, green and white and I really love the pattern on that. So then wrapped around at the bottom bunk we have some fairy lights from home base and my sister also has a sloth magnet from Edinburgh Zoo. Then next to our bunk bed we have a mirror which is from B&M and I absolutely love this. It looks so old fashioned and it just fills up that space in the corner which is quite narrow so um, yeah I really love that. And on the wall along from the mirror we have a canvas here which says live, laugh and love. My sister actually got this one so again I'm not sure where it's from but if I do find out from her I will leave it in the description box. And then below that is another one of Laura's hanging ornaments which is these um, lovely white butterflies which I think were from Danelle. And then we have a bedside table which is from Danelle. Again this is very old fashioned, it has like marks on it and things to make it look kind of rustic and old. I really love this. So inside there Laura and I just keep like our straighteners, our hairbrush, actually that's what I keep in my bottom drawer. The top drawer is rather messy and is Lotta's so we won't show inside there because uh, Lotta's a little bit of a more messy person than me. And then sitting on top of the bedside table I have a print which one of you guys actually gave me. Her name is Amy Louise Hughes and I will leave her Instagram on screen and also link down below. She custom designs prints. She made this one of me and my sister which is absolutely amazing and I'm so thankful for it so I will leave her links down below. Just drop her a message on Instagram if you would like her to design a print for you. And then next to that we have this little alarm clock which is like duck egg and is so cute. Then along from that we have this gorgeous chair which is probably my favourite thing about this room and actually doesn't belong to us. It belongs to my older sister but she moved house and didn't have room for it so we are kind of borrowing it just now until um, she moves into a bigger place. I believe this was from Next, I could be wrong. And then on that we have this super fluffy cushion which I really love. I'm obsessed with this. This was from Matalan. And then we have a couple of ornaments on our windowsill as well. We have a fake plant from New Look. And then I have a adventure fund which is empty surprisingly. 
and then I have this really cute plaque which says aim for the moon even if you miss your land amongst the stars because I just love quotes and inspirational messages and things like that then next to that we have a sleeping Yorkie ornament because we have two Yorkies if you didn't know. And above our window we have this ceramic hearts which say dream and they are so cute. I believe these were from next. On to the next section of our room. Laura has this like chest of drawers, like miniature one, which is from Debenhams and it has all these unique like little patterns and designs on each drawer which I think is gorgeous. And on top of that she has a fake flower and a little plaque that says all you need is love. And then this is Laura's kind of desk area. I'm not going to go into it too much because I don't really know where everything is from. But like I said, if you are interested, if you see anything that you like and you want to know where it's from, just drop me a comment down below and I will ask Laura and get back to you guys. So yeah, this is her desk, which is super cute. I do know that her little jewellery dish is from Next and it says pretty little things on it. This photo frame here is from HomeSense. The mirror which says dreamer and believer on it is from New Look as well as this little calendar which actually lights up. And then her makeup brushes are from Makeup Revolution and this I bought for her birthday which is a light up L and I got that on eBay actually. These fake cacti are from Tesco. Hanging from her desk she has this cute little sign that says being yourself is the prettiest thing you can be. So her actual desk is from Tesco and this super comfy chair is from Argos and it is such good quality like the back on it is so high I am so jealous I want this. Her desk has one drawer and two shelves but her desk is a lot bigger than mine. I think her desk is from Argos and she just has a couple of books in there candles i'm not really too sure what she keeps in there to be honest and just like above my desk she also has the same shelf which has a couple of ornaments on it and then above that she has this massive like frame which is like a collage of photos but she's so bad at filling frames and it's really annoying because she just leaves frames empty and Basically that is why our room is still not complete, just because she won't fill this frame, which is very annoying. So this is the last section of my room, which takes us over to the door that we actually started at. So starting off with this side, we have a little plaque which says happiness is like a butterfly and then it has a nice positive inspirational quote. And then above our wardrobe, we have another little hanging decoration, which is from Next. And then down the other side of our wardrobe, we have another few hanging plaques which have quotes on them. The top one which says love, laughter and sunshine is from B&Q, just like the one over there. And then the one underneath that is from a local garden centre and it's kind of mirrored and I really love that and the quote on it is just beautiful. And then above our actual door, we have a little hanging plaque that says sweet dreams. Also beside my door, just to stop the door from banging off my desk, I have a little like door stop, which is from Tesco and it's got dragonflies on it. So the last thing to say about my room is that this is our wardrobe. We have technically two wardrobes, but it's a three doored one, but this one kind of just overlaps the other two, if that makes sense. So this side is Laura's. And then on the middle door, we have some Little Mix posters, which we got when we went to see Little Mix, I think it was last year in Glasgow. Me and Laura are massive mixers. We love Little Mix. So this wardrobe is mine. So in here, I just keep all of my clothes. So on this side, I have t-shirts and dresses, jumpers, cardigans, hoodies. And then over here, I have all of my jackets and my dressing gowns. Up here, I keep my pajamas, my skirts, my jeans, blankets and spare bedding and things like that. And then down here is kind of my suitcases. I've got makeup, I've got hats and scarves and scrapbooking stuff all in those boxes. And uh, like I have boxes full of notebooks because I somehow have this weird obsession with collecting notebooks. So yeah, that's all that's in my cupboard and it's actually looking quite neat and organised at the minute. So that is good. So yeah, everybody, that is my room. I'm really happy with the way that Laura and I have decorated it. I'm just going to give you one last overview so you can see everything all together now that I've explained it all in depth. I'm really happy with our room. It's so cosy. 
I love it so much. So everybody, that's it for my room tour. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and that you like my room and the way like I've designed it. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. Also, make sure you're subscribed to my vlogging channel, which will be linked down below. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye!